This is a project that I've been working on and I thought I would take a minute to show you how I made this badge right here and these two labels. Uh, these are brass and this is just a label that's on a piece of aluminum. Uh, kind of looks like a machine badge or something like that. This, this me and him garage, this is, um, when I was growing up, there was, a, there was these two old guys that had a, a garage that, it looked like a filling station that had, you know, gone out of business a hundred years ago. And anyway, they, you know, they fixed tires and did, you know, odd kind of jobs on cars. But anyway, there was a sign out front that said, me and him garage. So anyway, I've always loved that. So that's why I made this and, um, you know, made, try to make it look like this came from the me and him garage. The, the way I made this, it's printed on uh, an inkjet printer. It's printed on decal paper. Okay, here's a close-up of it. And so this was printed on an inkjet printer. You can also use um, a laser printer, but you need different decal paper. And so there's, there's also, whether it's inkjet or it's laser, there's two kinds. There's a clear, and which, see these, <laughs> all right, see these dials right here? I made these dials I sprayed, I made, made an aluminum disc, and then I sprayed it white, and then I made the decal and put it on there, and the, uh, the decal was clear, so the white shows up behind it. Now, you can use a clear on, like, say you painted this yellow, and it would show yellow, but now your red, that says Sotomon right there, would kind of turn a little orange, because some of that yellow would bleed through into the red. So you have to think about that. So on this other one, up here this one you know I wanted this white to be white and I didn't want any of the colors to change on me so I printed it on decal paper this actually it's white on the back so whatever you print that's what it's going to show up like so uh, that's what this is printed on I'll put a link in the description for some different decal papers in case you're interested in that but let me get started and I'll show you how to make one now I'm not going to go into the design of this it was designed in Inkscape and then, but anyway, if you had a picture of one, you can just uh, take that and send it to your printer and just print it on a piece of decal paper. And then uh, I'll show you how you get it on there and turn it into a badge like that. So this is a piece of aluminum and I'm just wanting to cut it to fit once we make the uh, decal. And so I've just cut a piece of paper, printed, I printed it out what's going to go on our decal on a piece of paper. And I'm going to use this to go ahead and get the uh, aluminum ready. That way when I put the decal on, a lot sometimes, you know, you mess up the edges or it can get hot and kind of uh, wrinkle stuff. So I'm going to use the paper, then I'll peel the paper off, and then I'll apply the decal to this. Now, one way you can cut this out is to use something like this, which is a jeweler's saw. You can get these nice fine little blades. Um, but what I'm going to use is a scroll saw. Now I want to spray this black uh, because that way the edge around it will look like the edge of the decal. So uh, I'm going to spray it with some self-etching primer first. I use that on most uh, aluminum projects. It has some acid in it that eats into the it has some acid in it that eats into the aluminum, and I've never had it turn loose. Now once that dries, I'll come back and paint it black. So I've printed the decal onto the decal paper with an inkjet printer, and so now I have to fix it with some clear lacquer. And so this is acrylic clear, crystal clear, rust-oleum lacquer. You can use lots of different things. This is what I normally use. This decal paper is kind of pricey, so I'm going to reuse this bottom part, so I'm going to cover this because I don't want to get this on there because it won't work right when I go to do it next time. And I'm just going to give this a spray. You want to be sure that you get a good even coat on here because 
that's all that's holding this together. When you go to put it in the water to slip it off, this is what's holding it together. If, if you forget to do this, which I've done before, and you put it in the water, this just turns to a goo. So. For me, it helps to hold it up to the light and see if you have a good even shine all the way across it. And if you do, then you've got a good coat on it. All right, you'll let that dry. And if you don't think you got a good even coat, come back and give it another coat. Here's our decal. It's got a couple of coats of polyurethane on it and or that varnish that we used. And this is the back plate that I sprayed with black spray paint and just made, I went over it and made sure that there weren't any nibs sticking up. Next thing we gotta do is just soak this in some water for several minutes. Now while that's soaking, I wanna tell you now, this decal paper, it comes in two different kinds. You can get, if you're putting it on something that's white, you can use clear, or you know maybe you wanna put it on the black and, and use the clear, but the, the back color will bleed through the ink that the printer puts on there. So if you put it on a black background, it's gonna make it much darker. So this decal paper is actually white. Um, so that when I put it on the black, my colors will stay true. So keep that in mind when you're making your choices. I'm just gonna let this soak until it's just slipping off of there. You have to be a little careful. The only thing holding this decal together is the polyurethane that's sprayed on there. So you have to be careful not to tug on it or something like that because you'll stretch it out of shape. All right, that's starting to slip. So I'm gonna wet my background because I want it to slide around on there. I'm just gonna ease that back out from under it. Very gently. And then I'm just gonna set this in place. It's a little bit bigger all the way around than my metal, which is on purpose because I want to be able to trim it snug later. So that's pretty good right there. Make sure all my words are going to be on there. Pull it down just a little bit. Okay, I think that's gonna be pretty good. Okay, so now I just wanna take my sponge, and just sponge over the top of it lightly, like this. You gotta be pretty gentle with this stuff. Okay, just like that, now I'm gonna let that dry. Now that it's dry, I want to go around just with a razor blade and cut off the excess decal that's sticking around the edge. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, a couple places I missed the paint up, so I'm just going to hit that with a black marker. Now I'm just going to take that and I'm going to put a couple of more coats of clear coat over the top of it. Here it is and it's pretty much finished. I just need to finish the holes. I drilled these holes out beforehand because if you put this stuff on and you try to drill the holes later, you're liable to knock the um, decal loose right around the hole. And I find the easiest thing to do is just once you've finished it, just take you an awl and punch those holes out like that. If you try to drill them out, you're liable to do that same thing I was talking about. And then when you mount them, be sure when you're putting your screws, you're better off to just glue these down, but if, I'm going to put screws in these. And when you go to mount them, don't tighten your screws down really hard and tight against it, or a lot of times you'll twist that decal right there and deform it a little bit too.
Now when you tighten these screws down, be really careful that if you tighten them down tight, a lot of times you'll twist that decal and mess it up. Well, that's got this finished. And there'll be a, a video that'll follow that'll show you how to make these two down here. It's basically the same process, it's just these are clear um, decals instead. And then uh, be sure and watch the video on how I made this entire thing. But anyway, hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.